Hey, welcome to the studio. Today, we are gonna go on a tour of this place, a never before seen access to my home. I've been living here for almost two full years. Two whole years, nobody has seen this place. And before I move out onto the road, into the van, and just like nomad it for a bit, I figured I should at least show you this place. This is where I do everything. Whether I'm shooting YouTube videos, commercials, photography, you know, brands, products, or if I'm teaching live with Canon, or just sleeping, eating, showering, crying, a lot of crying. <laughs> This is where it all happens. So I wanna take you around and show you just like a never before seen view of this place because it's really special to me. And so are you. <laughs> You're so special, I love you so much. Okay, let's get on to the tour. This lens is like so wide. You can see me and the entire studio all at once. Ooh. Those of you who have seen a video from me before, which is all of you because you love me and you've subscribed and you ring that bell and you comment and you, um, what was I saying? If you've seen a video from me, it's probably a tutorial and it's probably just this angle right here. This is it, pretty simple. I take this desk and I put it right there. Usually there's like a ladder here, maybe a ladder here, and there's a couple of plants. It's the only angle I've really shot for YouTube, but I do actually use this as a photo studio for different products, for different clients. It's 1300 square feet and I use like seven, 800 of it just for different angles. So let's roll a few different angles that we've shot in here. That's not the one that you've seen a hundred times. I haven't even made a hundred videos yet, but um, here's some videos. So if I had to start the tour at one place, it would be where I start my days. At the coffee corner, right here. I'm a Chemex guy, which means I don't mind that my coffee takes a little bit longer to make in the morning. I have to grind the beans, boil this special little kettle here. I think I just got my arms soaking wet from all the water I spilled uh, trying to shoot that B-roll. But this is where we start. This is where we have coffee every single morning and it's just, just this perfect start. And for those who hate waiting for their coffee in the morning, we had the Nespresso, no worries here. Pretty sure my mom sent that to me for Christmas, so thanks mom. The original idea behind this place was to have somewhere where not only could I work, but I could also have friends over who wanna shoot in here, people who wanna rent it out, and kind of do like a WeWork space, good coffee, good company, and just creating all the time in the studio here. I might be opening this up for rentals like in the near future if I'm out on the road, but for the most part, it's mainly been me in here. But I really wanna open this space back up. Um, let's check out the rest of it. Now, immediately following the coffee, we have my outfit rack. You know, you got all of the Colin Dugan essentials here. This is where I keep all of my jackets and just, you know, it just looks really aesthetic in this location. And then as we walk a little bit further, we enter the main space, the main studio. All right, now check this out. Now I'm a big fan of big mirrors. I think they really open the space up. They make it look a lot bigger than it is. I mean, it's decently big for a living space, but check this out. We put this bad boy on wheels. So you can essentially just wheel this mirror around wherever you need it in the studio, which is just super helpful if you're by yourself trying to shoot and you need to see The couch here is mainly just a prop. You know, I just figured it'd be appropriate. If somebody wanted to come over, they had somewhere to sit because all I have was computer chairs and desks. You know, that's just me. <laughs> I don't sit on the couch. I'm always sitting behind the computer. So I'm just gonna close these shutters so that we have a better view of the studio. Now let me tour you around the main studio. This is where most things get done. Now the main reason I got a place like this is because A, this place has a lot of character to it and you can get a ton of different individually unique angles in this one area. So I use it for a, an array of different shoots. Whether I'm filming commercials, whether I'm filming for YouTube or taking photos of different products, this is the place, this is the setup. And I guess I should quickly just like break down the setup for anyone for those who are interested in the type of gear I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll just run you through what I'm usually working on. Here we have my 16 inch MacBook Pro from this year, completely specced out. And we have the Apple Studio display to go with it. Um, is it worth the $3,000 price tag? I, I'm honestly not entirely sure. I made a little equipment rack here. So 
You can see I have a ton of different microphones set up here. And the main piece and body I use is this Rodecaster Pro. I'm a big fan of this device and I get a ton of usage out of it. It has like built-in filters and just makes the audio so good. Plus I can record audio while I'm editing and I can record anything that I'm playing through my computer, which is awesome. And you can mix it all in one place here. I'm a big fan of it and I use it for all my YouTube videos. Attached to it, we have the NTG5. Now it's not supposed to be mounted like this. These are parts from three different microphones. So we have the NTG5 microphone. It is unbelievable. This mount for the microphone is actually for the shotgun version of this, but it fits nicely on this Rodecaster arm, which is actually made for like the podcasting mics, which I have. So like this is supposed to be on here, but I just, I love how good this condenser microphone is. You have to be like really close to use one of these. This right here is my main studio light the Godox SL60. This is the light setup I've been using since I moved in. All I had was this SL60, this newer dome. This dome is amazing. Highly recommend getting these. It really breaks up the lighting. And then when I could afford it, I bought a second one as a back and a side light. This right here is our snoot. Oh, nice. This essentially just lights the back of my head, as you can see. That's its one function. It's very important to have good hair light. Much better. And these lights are a more recent purchase. The reason I actually got these ones is because they're magnetic, as you can see, which is perfect for the van setup. So there's four of them. You can change them to whatever color you need, stick them on anything that's metal, and they all magnetically snap into place here and charge. And you can actually charge other devices off of this too. So essentially we have our front light here, we have our back light, and then these lights just really give a lot more depth to the area here. It highlights the brick and it makes the brick just like feel a lot further away. And this of course is a classic YouTuber wall. Equipment rack, not a wall. It's not a wall. This is a wall. That, there's a wall behind it. This is my YouTuber equip, equip, oh my God. <laughs> this is my YouTuber equipment rack. I said it right, amazing. Essentially, this just houses all of the new stuff that I'm shooting on. I actually owned this before I owned a bed for like months. Like I had this before I had a bed and before I had a couch or like anything for anyone to sit on. It's kind of sad. <laughs> and for camera, this is my baby, the Red Komodo. Currently rigged up with a small rig screen. You can also connect it to the iPad, which is amazing, or your phone. And you can actually live display and change your settings from your phone or iPad. And these are the DZO Pictor zooms. They are incredibly sharp and they look like a prime lens. I actually have a 16 mil from this company on this camera. Oh, and of course we can't forget the lava lamp. How could we forget the lava lamp? And here we have a secondary setup. So this is for anybody who's working with me, for me, or just like any friends that come over and wanna get some work done. But this is essentially the 2015 iMac. Bought it seven years ago and, and it lasted me until I got this MacBook. So it's been an amazing investment. But yeah, this is the second setup. We also film over here when we need it or I'll swap the desks out, I'll swap the computers out depending on the product. But as you can see, we have a couple of different setups in this building here. It's a bit dark in here and a lot of people might be asking Colin, where are those lights that I always see? Well, that is a great question. And I totally forgot to show you those. So let's go over to the light switch above the couch. Okay, so this is some people's favorite part of the entire studio. This light switch right here. You ready for this? Oh, <laughs> now originally there was just a ceiling fan right here. It was like right here, where is it? That thing, that. <laughs> So there was a ceiling fan that used to sit up there and like the lights just didn't make any sense. It was a different color here, a different color in the kitchen, and then a different color way back there. And I couldn't see anything when I turned the lights on. So I tried to come up with a creative way that I could light the entire place, but also have it look really cool. And hence are string lights. And of course I have to take you to the bedroom. <laughs> here we are, we're already here. It's pretty small. And honestly, a lot of people laugh when they see this room. Not that like a lot of people are in and out of the bedroom. I just mean like whenever, I'm just gonna stop talking there. People laugh at how small my bedroom is, but what do you use a bedroom for? You use a bedroom for one of two things. You're sleeping and you're essentially, <laughs> people laugh at this now, but I didn't even have a bed here before. I literally just slept on the ground. I put this here to make it look like a regular bedroom. 
This isn't a TV, it's a monitor that I just don't use. And then I have a PlayStation 4, which I haven't played in two or three years. At, yeah, it's been a very long time. And this thing right here is what I used to sleep on. So people are laughing at my bedroom. Now you can imagine what they thought when I literally slept on this mat. Maybe nine months, I slept on the floor. Honestly, I didn't have much money. I didn't, I really couldn't afford anything. So I tried to just buy the essentials. I was living in here with essentially this mat, a desk, and a chair. I've collected a lot of stuff and I'm pretty tired of having all this stuff. So I'm gonna set up a giveaway or just like donate it because a big part of me moving into the van was actually to get rid of a lot of stuff. I don't use this, like this is just literally a decoration. I would rather have somebody else be able to use it, utilize it and give it to a good home. But anyways, that's enough. Let's get out of the bedroom. <clears throat> Now here's another very unconventional light switch that turns on the lights for the, the restroom, the bathroom, toilet, whatever you say in wherever you're from, this is where the magic happens, essentially. Now this little hallway and area here is not much. It's essentially my closet. The shower is right behind me. And then this is one of two doors in this entire loft. It's pretty funny because I've had a few friends come to visit me and they say that they're gonna stay for like two or three days and they end up staying like two or three weeks. And this is literally the only place that you can have like any personal space when you have the shower running or a fan running in here because there's no doors. So this is our, this is our sanctum. This is my safe space. Get out of my safe space, man. Even my bedroom doesn't have a door. There's no ceiling to this closet either. And here you can see one, two, that, that's like six pairs. That's like four pairs. There's some new ones. There's like three or four pairs. There's like four pairs in there. There's a couple pairs up there. Like I do have outfits. I just, I don't care. Like I'm totally happy to wear the same two or three things over and over and over and over as you probably noticed at this point. If you're wondering what I just tripped over, it is a huge crate full of hard drives. We are in the middle of shooting a few commercials for this hard drive company, Glyph. I've been using them for like two or three years and I've got stacks. I've got like, I've got so many hard drives. These are three RAID systems. I have, these go up to like 18 to 20 terabytes. These are some mini RAIDs and then just like more, <laughs> a ton of SSDs in there. You know what? Here, let's make a little bit of a game out of this. I don't need, 30 hard drives. So I think I literally have 30 hard drives. Since I'm gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways and I'm just like, I gotta get rid of some of this stuff, let's play a bit of a game. You comment on this video and guess how many hard drives I have. No SD cards, like literally hard drives that are over two terabytes, let's say. Give me your best guess at how many hard drives I have that like store over two terabytes. Whoever is closest to the number of drives I have is gonna win something. I mean, like it's like a kind of like, Pretty obvious what the prize might be, but that's fun. That's fun. There we go. I'm already giving stuff away. I feel a weight lifted off of me. And it's going to somebody who cares, who deserves it because they're subscribed and they love my channel and they've shared it with all their friends and they <laughs> comment and they smash that subscribe and they watch every video that I made. And as you can see, there's a couple of instruments over here. We have a keyboard and a guitar. I'm in the midst of learning both of those just because I just love learning and playing instruments. And that's pretty much it for the main area here. And now I'm just gonna switch you back over to the red because I mean, we love that setup. It looks so much better. Um, and we have a few closing remarks, so. Since I briefly mentioned a bunch of the equipment that I shoot on from day to day, this is the camera we've been filming the rest of the video on. It is the Canon R5. It's been really good to me over the last couple of years. And I have a 16 mil on here, it's a prime lens. I use the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And yeah, it's like a pretty decent setup for what I need. Yeah, this is like my day-to-day. -day. I mean, I love using the red as much as I can. As you can see, it's like so different. I'm gonna put this away. Now, I just wanna make a note. I briefly mentioned this a little bit earlier in the video, but I, I really wanna make sure that it's absolutely clear that I took a big risk going into this place. You know, it's not necessarily a feasible location for anyone who's starting out or trying to reinvent their business, but what happened was, the entire world shut down in March 2020, which we all are very much aware of, and I lost all of my work overnight. I mean, so many people did, right? I was in the event space and I was in the travel space. So I personally was left in a position where I didn't know if I was ever gonna make a video again, as crazy as that might sound. And I didn't really know where to go. Thankfully, the Canadian government was giving out assistance 
for people in my scenario who had no income. And I really took a leap of faith there. I took the four to eight weeks of leeway I had and essentially just covered the rent on this place. So I had two months in here to figure out how I was gonna afford rent. It took me over a full year of living here and working out of here before I knew that my rent was gonna be paid the next month. And the reason I wanna tell you this has nothing to do with me personally. I just wanna let you know that like in all transparency, I lived here for almost a year with only this desk, this chair, and a floor mat. <laughs> That was it, that's all I had. And I was really just trying to make it work. I didn't even own a camera. I was borrowing a camera from Scott. So. so that's why my location was always changing from video to video. I was constantly on the move and this was the first time I decided to settle down and really just invest in myself. When I first moved in, it was all hustle and I was so inspired to go out and just chase these dreams, to do something that I didn't even know if I could pull off. And that's how it usually is, so. When you see places like this, or you see your favorite YouTubers, studios, or any sort of like influencers, especially in the travel space, like a lot of people get trapped in a cycle of only posting their ups because that's what gets the most likes and the most views. But I feel like that's not actually sharing positivity because we need to really be real with one another. And I need you to know that like, I'm a human being too. I'm not even like a big YouTuber or influencer or creator, you know? But if this video can show you that you know, your dream space is possible, that you can go out there and reach for something a little bit beyond yourself that you've been itching to go for, and you need that one little push to say that you can do it. That's what I wanna do. That's why I made this video, and this is the future of the channel. I started a YouTube channel when I was like 12 years old, so here I am 15 years later, and I finally have a YouTube studio. Wow, yeah, YouTube has been around for 15 years, crazy. Oof, I'm getting old. <laughs> This is my quarter life crisis hidden. <laughs> Just know that when you go and put yourself out there, you know, you chase your dreams and you put it all on the line, you will be amazed at what you're actually able to accomplish. That's all I want to accomplish with this video. And if you want to support me on my journey and follow me, you know, just subscribe, ring the bell if you want to see my next posts. And yeah, one of my next posts is going to be a van tour because we just moved into the van. So I'm personally super excited to get back on the road and traveling and who knows, like I don't even know what I'm gonna be capturing out there, but I'm excited to find that out. And if you are, join me on the journey. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek behind the scenes of my life, my studio, my home, and can't wait to see you on the road in the next video.